but I'm sorry, you're ignorant. And I don't mean that in a mean way. I'm using the definition of the word ignorant in description of you. It's ignorant to hold that opinion. Welcome to the new 22. This is a spot that I've been before, but I wanted to share one little thing with you. Got into a little bit of an argument with somebody the other day that posted on a Facebook forum page for Habitat people and everything, basically poo-pooing on the idea that buying a couple apple trees or shoving a couple red osier dogwood in the ground and such is pointless. Think big, go bigger, you know, and all these things. That's great. That's great. If you can do that, Apparently you've got more money, more disposable time on your hands, and you're not a real world person when it comes to your time and energy and abilities and money and pockets to do those kind of things. I don't. It just doesn't happen like that. This is an area behind me that I would love to shove a whole bunch more red osier dogwood and I have about 50 on order. I planted some. I actually literally bought six red osier dogwood and they're shoved back in a little pocket back there. Every single one of them has brows. Two of them, the chicken wire around them to try to keep them somewhat alive at the base at least. I knew the deer would reach down in there, that's fine. All I had was chicken wire at the time. I mean, obviously this guy, he'd probably say use eight foot tall fence and he'd have a guy come in and do it for him probably. But I, all I had was chicken wire, shove some rods. I even used some cut branches as sticks. But they all lived that I protected. The deer are annihilating them. The idea that a little bit doesn't make a difference is idiotic and ignorant. Anybody watching this video, do not let a single person tell you, well, unless you can do go big, you might as well go home. That is the dumbest concept in the world. Do what you can, as you can, as much as you can. And if that means, like this year, I shoved three apple trees in the ground today, that's all I could afford. And honestly, if I'd have known this whole coronavirus thing was gonna hit and we were building a house and trying to sell our house, and the unknowns of that, I probably wouldn't have bought them. And they were only, I only spent like $70 on the three of them. But I came in here with a chainsaw and made this bedding area, all these trees. You see that? See that behind me? That's incredible. I found beds in those all the time. Took me half a tank of gas and a chainsaw. That guy probably would have said it wasn't worth it. This little quarter of an acre, third of an acre, wasn't worth it. I jumped bucks out of here. I found a massive buck bed. I shared it before back there. It is, it, is, it is just so dumb. Most of you guys watching my channel, you're real like me. You don't have thousands and thousands of dollars to throw at stuff. There are ways to go about this th these things, get habitat created without either one, going into debt, two, being a product whore and becoming a pro staffer and just getting discounts on stuff. I'm sorry, that's just ridiculous. You, you, all you have is a coupon code and you sold your soul basically to a company. Don't do it. There are ways around it. Today I came back here, shoved some elderberry in the ground that came with those apple trees. Gonna, I protected some of them. I'm walking around, I'm checking on things. I'm gonna show you some video of uh, what these hinge cuts, these pears, these calories, I mean the deer are just annihilating them. But we've gotta stop with this idiotic and ignorant stance of you know, oh it ain't worth doing these little things or whatever. That's great for you people with thousands of acres, thousands of dollars huge equipment, tractors that cost more than my 23 acres did, but I'm sorry, you're ignorant. And I don't mean that in a mean way, I'm using the definition of the word ignorant in description of you. It's ignorant to hold that opinion. It's just ignorant. God bless guys. Get out there, do what you can. Email me if I, if I got any cheap options or ideas, I'll, I'll tell you. There, there's ways that you can go about doing things as affordable as possible, and a lot of times it's a chainsaw and sweat. Gas, sweat, and a chainsaw can do a lot of work. Add a shovel in there, and you can start transplanting a bunch of stuff. You see a, a, a fallow field that has a whole bunch of young pine trees in it, get a hold of the owner, see if you can transplant them. It's gonna take some time and energy and effort, but hey, it's free. Again, sweat. God bless. Good luck out there. <laughs>